Hi guys, welcome to my channel or if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Allison and welcome. So for today this video, I'm testing out another new tint moisturizer in the market and this is the Laura Mercier Tint Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfecting. It does have an SPF 30 in it which comes in handy for everyday makeup look. So if you guys are interested how this works on my oily skin, acne prone skin, and texture skin, then let's keep on watching. So before we get into the application on this foundation, let's get into the details. So I did purchase this on Sephora.com and I just put up their website. So this is the tint moisturizer from Laura Mercier. It does have a SPF of 30. It comes in 20 shades, which is actually not bad for a tint moisturizer because a lot of tint moisturizer, it comes out like a very restricted amount of foundation shape because it's more like a moisturizer and it's not a foundation necessary. So this it retails for $47 on Sephora.com. So this is a best selling tissue moisturizer with a new and improved formula infused with skincare benefit up to 24 hours hydration and SPF 30 sunscreen to protect. This is a light coverage, natural finish, liquid formula. It's good for normal, dry, and combination skin, and it has an SPF of 30. So this is a secret effortless skin. Perfect your skin with a sheer hint of coverage for an effortless, no makeup, makeup, dewy finish. Everything you love about this iconic lightweight formula now with improved skincare benefit for lasting hydration and SPF of 30 sunscreen. So that's all the details on this tinted moisturizer. Now let's get into the packaging of this product. So I did get two shades here. I got the shade in 2W1 Natural and 2N1 Nude. So W stands for warm tone and N is stand for neutral tone. So I did got two different sizes. So this is the large size and this is a sample size. So actually the full size, it didn't come with a palm. It's just like a squeezy tube as well, just same as the sample size. So here I have two different sizes side by side. This is the full size and this is the sample size. And as you guys can see, the packaging is similar. The squeezy tube, it has a smaller cap and the bigger size, it has a longer cap. And that's the only difference that they are. So the full size, you're getting 1.7 ounce of the product and the sample size, you're getting 0.8 full ounce. So on the full size, you are actually not getting any pump on this packaging. It's just a squeezy tube and then you just have to squeeze out the product with this um, plastic bottle. Okay, to prep my skin, I'm using my Becca Under Eye Brightener to cancel my dark circle. And I like to use this before applying the foundation and concealer. And now moving on to the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. And this is suitable for summertime since I do have very oily skin. So this really helps to control the oils come through and um, last my foundation longer on the face. So I'm just gonna pat in my center of the face. Okay, I'm just gonna wait it for a few seconds, let it to sit in on top of the skin. And they look pretty solid. They don't round down, it's not runny at all. So I'm just gonna see which shade matches my skin tone. So this shade, I'm putting it onto my face. This is two and one, which is neutral. And the front is 2W1, which is a warm tone. So here's a side-by-side -side of two different shades. The first one is 2W1 Natural, and the second one is 2N1 Nude. So as you guys can see, I'm definitely going with this shade, which is 2N1 on the front side. Okay, so now I'm just gonna finish up this side of the face. So on the texture by itself, it does feel like a moisturizer. So I'm just gonna blend this out with my e.l.f. sponge. I like to apply my foundation with a sponge more than using a brush. So as you guys can see, there's not much of a coverage. It just looks like a moisturizer, but it just kind of toned down my skin tone. So definitely, it looks very natural on the skin. It didn't even give me any coverage because again, it's a tinted moisturizer but um, it kind of just even out my skin tone. So I'm just gonna finish up this side of my face with the brush. The brush I'm using is a cosmetic brush and this is called Airbrush 77. So this is the size of the brush and let's see if it gives me more coverage. So this is what it looks like with the brush and this side what it looks like with the 
sponge. So definitely with a brush, you can see more dewiness than using my sponge because again, this is a tinted moisturizer. It might just um, have that moisture leave on the face, but instead using a sponge, it will just absorb all the moisture and it takes all the foundation out and absorb to the sponge, if that makes sense. So this side is more matte finish because um, again, it doesn't give me more coverage. It might be because the sponge, it absorbs all the product on a tinted moisturizer and this of the face. The moisture is still on. You can see the natural dewiness going on on this side of the face. And definitely it does give me a little bit more of a coverage. But I, I usually go for a sponge because I hate having a streak marks on my face. So on this area, you guys can see just kind of cling into my skin. So I'm gonna use a sponge to blend out later on. But right now I'm just gonna put more on this side of the face by using a brush and then we will go over with the sponge. So definitely when applying, it feels like a moisturizer. Um, this foundation doesn't move around. It's not liquidy at all. And as you guys can see with the brush application, it gives you more of a natural glow. And now I'm just going over with a sponge to blend out those straight marks. So this foundation, it doesn't dry down like very tacky finish. It actually, it dries down pretty nice. I wouldn't say it dries down matte finish, but it's not as tacky as I thought a tinted moisturizer would dry down to be. So I really like how this foundation, it dries down. It gives you a very natural finish. It looks like your skin but better in a way that it even out your skin tone, but not necessarily that it gives you coverage on it. If this is something that I would use, I would use it for more of an everyday makeup look. So now let's check in the time is 3.22. This is the time when we apply this foundation on the face. So later on, um, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'll check back with you guys and see how this dries down on the face. Okay, so this is the final makeup look and I just did a very, very natural makeup look today. Like everyday makeup look, I did my blush, bronzer, and a highlighter and that's all I did on the face today. And I didn't put any mascara at all and I just wanna test this foundation out on a very casual day. So this is what the foundation looks like on the face. So this is what the foundation looks like on the face. I do like this foundation on my first impression because it does look like my skin, but better. It settled down very nice. It does have that natural like dewiness, like within the glow kind of finish on the face. And it feels very lightweight and it feels like my skin, but it just like even out the skin tone. You don't feel like you have foundation on top of the face. And also you don't really see any cakiness on the face. So I really like this natural finish and I will use this foundation for, I should say, tinted moisturizer for an everyday makeup look because it looks very natural within the glow of my skin, but better, but it doesn't give you a lot of coverage, like cakiness on the face. It looks very natural like your skin. You don't see like you have foundation on top of the face, but I have to test it out to see if it lasts me for about five to eight hours more on my olive skin. So this is a translucent powder that I set it underneath my eye and all over my face because I do have oily skin again. So usually with a lot of foundation review, I would set my face for sure because I want this to last longer on my face and this is my routine for everyday makeup look. So the first layer after I put on my bronzer, blush, and highlighter, I did put on my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist to spray all over my face to get out that kickiness from the translucent, translucent powder. And then I went in with my um, MAC Matte Fix Plus in matte formula. This is a pixie bottle, I know, but I did replace the Matte Fix Plus into this bottle to set my face so it would stay matte on the skin. So these are my initial thoughts on this foundation and how I feel about it on the first application. So I'm just gonna go on and about outdoor. I'm gonna go to the mall, pick up something from Sephora, VIP sale, and then I'll be right back and check in with you guys. Alright guys, I'm back for the final check-in now that I've been wearing this foundation for about six hours now and this is what it looks like on my face and I do have to say it looks a little dewy even though I set it with loose any powder but again, this is a tinted moisturizer so it tends to get a little oilier on the face but I do like the finish, how it looks. It's very natural finish and I like it that it looks 
more of a healthy skin looking instead of giving you coverage and this would be a really good kind of tinted moisturizer to wear for every single day look because it looks very natural your skin but better it evens out your skin tone and it just looks so natural on the face even though i know that with the light that i have in my room it kind of reflects to the face that it makes it more oily but in real life it looks very natural kind of dewiness like within the glow i really like the finish of it it doesn't look like you have foundation on your top of your face at all so i really like how natural it looks but keep in mind if you guys do oily skin you guys have to set it with a loose setting powder i might want to try to um, use my Too faced uh perfect peach that loose setting powder, it really controls my oil, so I'm gonna um, try out that and see if it kind of controls a lot better instead of using the Kylie Jenner loose setting powder that I have. But I do realize that um, on my nose area, when I wear my sunglasses, it kind of just takes off the makeup easily. But it was interesting that it didn't show like a sunglass mark on top of your nose like on the side of your nose if that makes sense if you guys have tried using a regular foundation and putting your sunglasses on and take it off there will be a mark up here around your nose area but with this tinted moisturizer i think because it's a very light coverage it's very sheer coverage so that it didn't show the marks it just kind of take off the makeup instead of showing the mark if that makes sense on this area which i have my sunglass mark but it just kind of just took off the makeup. And on this side, you guys can see a little mark up here that it kind of just cling into like around the nose area with the foundation, but you don't see the mark. You just see, it kind of just took off the makeup around my nose area. Okay, guys, so that's my final thought on this foundation. I love that how natural it looks. I would wear this for more of a everyday makeup look kind of moisturizer, tinted moisturizer. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and hope this video does help you guys out to pick up this foundation or not. Also, please make sure to like this video if you like it to support your girl here and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Your heart, your heart, your heart.